Tradition and Transformation, a unique eco-lodge in the Andes. Nestled against the beauty of Cotacachi Volcano, surrounded by lush farmland and overlooking some of the most beautiful views in northern Ecuador, a transformation is taking place. A single mom and dog lover, Viviana Arraso, is striving to bring life to an environmentally friendly tourist destination that combines the local food and culture, ecologically sound tourism practices, and the wonder and serenity of the northern Andean mountains. This is not just any woman. Of Spanish and Quechua descent, Viviana was born in Ibarra, has lived in Quito for 20 years, traveled the world, worked in non-governmental organizations or NGOs, and the Ecuadorian Environmental Ministry. Aware of the struggles of the indigenous population, as well as educated and trained in the demands of today's ecotourism industry, she is well on her way to uniting both at Sarah Lodge. A primary goal of Sarah Lodge is to provide adventurous tourists with a range of comfortable accommodations, an introduction to indigenous culture and cuisine, and the ability to explore the vast landscape surrounding the mountain while their pets are safe, secure, and happy in the Lodge's pet hotel. Sarah Lodge is located three kilometers from Cuicocha Lake in the Cotacachi Cayapas Ecological Reserve, which is a must-see destination in Ecuador. However, in order to protect the delicate flora, fauna, and animals within its perimeter, the reserve does not permit pets. In addition, many of the nearby accommodations do not accept pets. Viviana recognizes that many tourists and locals alike love to travel and explore with their furry family. Sarah Lodge's unusually unique and welcoming pet hotel will allow those traveling with their pets a secure, comfortable, and protected area to keep their pets while they visit Cuicocha Lake and the Cotacachi Cayapas Ecological Reserve. The Eco Lodge was such a dog-friendly place that not only were we encouraged to bring our dog, but also to allow him to roam free. Still under construction, the property is expected to be completed by April 2019. Guests will have their choice of three distinct types of accommodations. The cabanas offer a choice of rooms with queen, full, and twin beds. The extensive use of large windows and upstairs balconies allow guests to enjoy the expansive views from the comfort of their cabanas. The geodesic domes will showcase spacious wooden interiors, panoramic windows, and skylights for stargazing. Each room or dome includes a private three-quarter bathroom, including a hot shower. Additionally, the property has a dedicated camping area with the added luxury of a shared wash house, which includes hot showers, composting toilets, and a sink. An organic garden, manicured paths, and a variety of local plants and trees encompass the property, as well as a secure gated parking lot. The small restaurant on the first floor of the main cabana provides a local style buffet breakfast for those guests staying in the cabanas and domes. Lunch and dinner can be provided with advance notice for an additional charge. Sarah Lodge currently offers a choice of two excursions. Nature lovers can partake in a hike around Cuicocha Lake, which is approximately 12.6 kilometers and takes about four to five hours. For those who prefer a city tour, they offer a walking tour of Otavalo, which takes approximately two to four hours. Both tours include a local guide, lunch, and transportation, and are normally conducted in Spanish. If you need an English-speaking guide, please request one in advance, and they will make every attempt to provide one. Bibiana's well-trained staff can assist guests with any questions, including transportation arrangements, if needed. They can also assist with recommendations for additional restaurants and excursions in the Imbabura province. As an added bonus, Sarah Lodge is currently offering 50% off their cabanas through February 2019. For more information or reservations, please contact the team at Sarah Lodge.
For more from Viviana on her vision for Sarah Lodge, watch this interview. Buenos dias and good morning. We're speaking with Bibiano Arraso, owner of Sara Lodge, a new eco lodge three kilometers before Cuicocha Lake in the Cotacachi Cayapas Ecological Reserve. Welcome, Bibiana. Thank you so much. What inspired you to create Sara Lodge and what have been your challenges? My idea was to create some unique place to offer the visitors the possibility to have uh, comfort in their rooms and enjoy the nature and the possibility to the visitors to learn about the ecological reserve Cotacachi Cayapas and to learn about the indigenous culture. Our idea is to offer some kind of tours because we find many attractions around Sara Lodge. Sara Lodge is in a, inside a community, the community Morochos. And we have other community in front, Arrayanes community. And we have other community uh, near, uh, Cuicocha communities. All these communities have very special traditions and very special practice around the agriculture, around the um, uh, festi uh, festivals, uh, all of that uh, practice are very uh, important because show an, a different culture. And you know, uh, in Ecuadorian, we are uh, almost mestizos, but we have 21 um, nationalities and different uh, cultures. So I appreciate and I respect and I value the Quechua indigenous. That's the reason because I am using this very beautiful uh, cloth of the uh, indigenous uh, woman. And uh, um, I consider I am uh, a mix between uh, indigenous and um, persons who came from Spain. So I have the two cultures in my um, in my culture, and I appreciate, I, I buy, um, value on uh, these activities because uh, are uh, are related with the nature. You know, in the actuality, almost of people are trying to produce. I am trying to um, uh, take more res uh, resource of the uh, environment, and that is not good for the humanity. It's not only environment question, it's about humanity uh, question. So I consider the indigenous cults have very good practice to uh, protect the um, environment, the sun, the, the land, uh, and uh, un, uh, they have a very special relationship with um, the natural mother. Yeah, you say the natural moment, the Pacha Mama. Pacha Mama. So um, that is all of uh, inf um, uh, information. That is all of uh, new ideas that I would like show the persons who visit uh, us and uh, um, promoting this part of uh, of Ecuador because uh, Ecuador have many beautiful uh, things, you know, uh, landscape. But one important thing is the people. No? We have very kinds of uh, nationalities and uh, culture, and the, uh, I consider this is uh, very important. Um, for the community of expatriates, that uh, they are living in Cotacachi, um, they are uh, living in a very nice place, and I would like to show this practice of this way to relation with the communities. It's not easy, it's complicated, because the communities are considered living uh, alone for many years. So in some cases, they I receive like um, they have a little uh, if um, miedo ah, um, that if, uh, against some ah. things that uh, they don't know. So the the idea is uh, um, this initiative help to uh, communicate the people, the different cultures, 
North American uh, people, uh, mestizos and indigenous cult, and everybody um, learn together and have uh, moments to relax with these uh, uh, kind of uh, rooms and to protect the uh, environment. We have um, many information because we did a research about what kind of um, flora and fauna, animals and plants, there is in this uh, territory, in this area, and uh, we can share that information with the visitors. In the restaurant you can see the birds, special birds that we have in this lodge. And um, my dream is uh, this will be a place to enjoy, to relax, to learn, and to share ideas with different cultures. Why did you decide to include camping? Because um, I love the nature. <laughs> uh, I, I love uh, receive the sun, receive the moon. I consider that are very special symbols for um, the um, uh, body, but for the spirituality too. So I consider the camping is one way to be more connected with the nature. Okay, because you sleep in over the grass and you uh, can feel the wind or uh, you can uh, see the stars. So I, I consider that is a very uh, important offer that, uh, that uh, option. And this place is a mirador, a point of view. Because uh, from this part, you can see the Taita Imbabura Volcano, Cayambe Volcano, and Fuya Fuya uh, Volcano. Are three very um, strong uh, forms of energy, no? to places that you can appreciate uh, from the camping. Uh, you can appreciate too inside the rooms, but in the camping, I think it's other option for people who are uh, interested more connection con the nature uh, more. And the person who use the camping, they can uh, cosechar the garden. Ah. We have medicinal plants, we have vegetables, and they uh, they can use uh, the pachamama produce and use for prepared uh, drinks or either uh, something the garden uh, produce. That is the idea. Excellent. What drove you to decide to have a pet hotel? You know, the ecological reserve have some laws and one of the rules is it's not possible to enter pets because uh, the pets could be um, share some kind of virus for the uh, local animals, so that is the reason because there is a rule, it's prohibited uh, go to the reserve with the pets, dogs or cats or anyone. Uh, so I have experience with my dog, with my pet, I have to stay in the door and my family go to the ecological reserve and I wait with my pet uh, <laughs> outside. So that was the idea because I decided to uh, create a place uh, to offer care, uh, good care for the pets. In this moment, we don't have um, ready because um, we we did proofs and here there is a lot of wind and the pets need a cover to maintain uh, quiet. And uh, so we are thinking create a small cabins with natural materials and to, to protect the wind and to protect the rain in some cases. It's not just question to take a pet and uh, with a uh, leash, no. So be quiet and uh, during the persons are enjoying the nature, the dog is enjoying a quiet time here with us. That is the idea. Are the pets allowed in the dormitorios? I don't have problem with, uh, with us in case the pet uh, has um, cojar and the yes. owner uh, care the pets. In some cases, I sleep with my pet in my room, <laughs> and he has um, education. He don't uh, make uh, the necessities in yes. uh, in the floor. He yes. touch the door <laughs> where he want to uh, go out. 
So in those cases, we can offer uh, offer that. No, no problem. Will there be a deposit or an extra charge for having the dog um, either here or in the pet hotel? Yeah, we have to think in that. Yes. <laughs> I am okay. honest. In this moment, we don't have for okay. that. We have only the cost for uh, the persons, yes. but um, we we can offer different kind of services. Okay, and this is uh, land. This is not a problem with the with the pet. The idea is to uh, maintain comfortable and happy all the persons, so we can uh, uh, include us. Uh, I am know many persons care very, very, um, uh, very full. That uh, um, uh, many of care for the pets. Yes. So uh, I understand that because I have my pet too. So no problem with us. Uh, we will think about a uh, small cost uh, for uh, for that. Okay. Describe the meals at Sarah Lodge. In the cost of a uh, location is included the breakfast tipo buffet. Okay, yeah, you can eat all that you want of you need. And we we care natural things, you know. And uh, in uh, the breakfast we include a traditional dish, for example, morocho with uh, milk, and the other is um, colada de maíz con dulce. Cold cream with uh, sweet. It's a traditional dish, uh, dish that the people normally eat here in this area. And the lunch we included in the tour okay. because we uh, we want to offer options for the person in the day and to go to walk uh, around in many places. And the lunch is included that working with the community. The community prepared the lunch. We care that the, the hygienic uh, rules and uh, uh, working with uh, the community. And the dinner um, we prepare here uh, uh, with a reservation previous, with previous uh, reservation. And lunch and dinner are extra. Do the excursions, the tours, come with a local guide? Tour and excursions are with the local guide indigenous uh, from the communities and they can share all the information because they live that kind of uh, of uh, activities, they know the places. It's not only a job for them; it's share the uh, experience of life uh, during the excursion. Does a guest need to know Spanish to come here, or does your staff speak some English? The guys, uh, they don't speak English, unfortunately. Part of the activities that we are promoting is. Um, uh, to teach English to the long, to the young people in the communities. It's a social responsibility that we are trying to promote with the young people. But, uh, with Diego, you know, Diego, the idea is connect some, uh, expatriate uh, persons who are interested to collaborate like, um, translators, uh, in English. Because, uh, we know uh, many persons don't speak uh, Spanish, don't interested in, in learn to, uh, 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 Spanish. So we have that option with, with Diego and with other persons that uh, Diego uh, knows for the, for the tours. Thank you so much for your time. We look forward to visiting you again when you're closer to completion. Ah, thank you so much. We will be waiting for you. Oh, thank, thank you for you. the opportunity.